This video is brought to you by ASAP12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Uh, I can't actually remember any colours apart from those two. So I'm just going to type blue or something. You can just use words. And you can you can look up on Google. You can probably look up um, what like HTML colors, and it will give you a list of colors that um, HTML code understands. Anyway, so here it's given us our blue background, and here you can see the border has been set to white, and this um, background remains gray because the background color was gray, but the color of the border was set to white. Now, if we type anything in here. Remember I told you how this will affect anything inside the border? I was being realistic there. So every, any text inside will be white unless you change it otherwise by say, using the span tags like span style equals color is green. And then just closing it off here. Okay, so here it's overrided um, the default of white and set it to green. And uh, we can center this. We can say uh, align equals center. And maybe we can't, maybe it has to be some, done some other way. Uh, let's do it with a div tag then. Okay, so here it's aligned it to the center. Um, what else? I'm not sure if you can do vertical align, but if you can, then it's V align for vertical align equals, we can say uh, middle, I think it is. I can't exactly remember. No, let's try center again. No one really bothers with the vertical align. Um, maybe you can set it in the CSS here. The align is center. No, okay, so you can't set the V align, but you can uh, you can check that out. Maybe you can. I'm not sure myself. Um, anyway, that's just giving you an idea of borders. Oh yes, and I promised you I'd uh, go through some the image tag because I accidentally forgot last tutorial. So let's just go through the image tag now. We'll just delete all this stuff. Um, sorry, I have a space there. So if we just set this back, okay. Get rid of this border one in the style tag. Okay, so um, if we just uh, imp so we put in the image, and then the source has to be um, it has to be in exactly the same place as where your um, HTML file is, otherwise it won't be able to find it and the only way you'll be able to get it is if you find it somewhere else on the web or if you upload it to the web, so if you've made the image the only way to get it um, once you've uploaded your site is to upload the image as well and then put the source as that the um, URL of where you uploaded the image to so anyway I'm just going to be using this um, geekcartoon.bmp for bitmap. So source src for source equals and it was geek underscore cartoon dot bmp. No space there. Underscore cartoon dot bmp. Okay, so we just close the quotes there. Sorry, that's my internet. <laughs> Okay, so um, here we have our geek. <laughs> so if we just input some content, let's just say content goes here. Just copy and paste that so we've got an idea of lots of content. Okay, so if we save, that looks really silly now. Like, seriously silly. So what we can actually do is we can set the float. So we just have to go back to the image tag and we add the style attribute to the image tag. So style equals open quotation marks and then 
I want it so that the um, the text is sort of going to wrap around the image here. So it will come round and it will just wrap around and then continue down here. So float colon left because it, it's on the left side that it's going to float. Okay, so um, there wasn't actually enough content. I'll just add some more content then. Um, so okay now I can see that it's it's properly wrapping around the text as you can see and if we continued on okay so it's it's wrapped around the, the um, image very nicely um, so we can set the float to right as well and then it will just do the same thing but on the right Whoops. Okay, so Control S and then F5 to refresh. Okay, so it's done the same thing on the right, and I believe you can do it on top and bottom. I'm not exactly sure. So this is this is the test. Yep, yeah, although it looks a bit stupid, because the text is kind of wrapping around um, this text above, and then it's um, wrapping around the bottom as well. Because we didn't set the float to be left or right, it's not going anywhere within the proximity of left or right. So it looks a bit silly. Um, but those those left and right floats are very useful for putting in images where it would otherwise look out of proportion. If, if I just get rid of this style tag... Okay, so it it looks the same thing as it was when we set the float to top and it looks really ugly. So we can just set that float to left or right, and then it looks a lot better. Anyway, this has been a tutorial by Acid12. Over and out.